Hi, my name is David Brown. Um, I'm an instructional technologist here at Dalton State, and I want to show you a nice new tool in Georgia View called Read Speaker Text Aid. It's available to all Dalton State faculty, students, and staff, and you, it is in all Georgia View courses. You simply go to Georgia View to any course, go to Georgia View and Campus Resources, and click Read Speaker Text Aid right there. Um, once you click on that, the first time you use it, it'll uh, require you to accept an agreement, and from then on, you'll have your own account. Um, and I have already uploaded some documents into my own account. And the way it works is you can upload documents or copy and paste, and it'll translate to uh, five different languages, including Spanish, French, German, English. Um, I'm going to show you how it works. I have a document uploaded here, and uh, by um, I can see my voice settings and make sure that it recognizes that it's Spanish. And then I can just simply click listen. Departamento de Servicios Humanos de Georgia. Solicitud de beneficios. Usted debe entregar. And it plays it in that language. Now that's a document. I can also click on new text and go on the internet. You can also get this set up in your browser so you don't even have to copy paste. But I'm gonna go to this German site and let's say I don't know what this says and I'm curious. I'm going to copy and paste it. And um, after I copy and paste it, there's a translation tool on the left side down here. And um, it's going to translate it. And I need to uh, note what language it is to begin with, which is German. So I'll click the translation tool now and it's going to translate it to English. Uh, but can it translate it to the other language as well? And uh, now we see the English translation here up here. Uh, and of course, you could read that aloud too if you wanted. Uh, but it um, it's English, Spanish, Chinese, French, and German. Um, the way the Chinese works is you copy and paste the Chinese text like you see here. Or as I said, you could use the web browser tool and this could ha you could do this in a browser. Um, but I'm going to do the uh, read aloud here, and if you listen, you'll hear the Chinese uh, read aloud in native Chinese. Um, that's a little bit about the translation tools. There's a lot more than that, but I want to show you a couple of other uh, nice options. You, each person gets their own account, and so you can save, you can have access stuff in your library later. You can download any file as an MP3, which what that would do if you had an ebook and you wanted to hear it read aloud, you could download the whole book and it would audio play it for you um, from anywhere. Um, there's also uh, some nice tools in writing assistance. We show translations. Image to text is an image that has text, but it will convert it to text, so it's really text. Several other settings here. I want to show you what's in Tools. Tools has some accessibility features that are beneficial to everyone. One is called the Screen Mask. The Screen Mask, if you have a long web page with a lot of text, um, it will, uh, you can put it in here and it will highlight it um, and darken the other parts. There's also a reading ruler that you can use to guide you when you're reading. Um, and there is a nice calculator, and this calculator uh, will read aloud. And let's do that in a different language. Um, we'll try five, eight times six. Five. Fifty-eight times sixty-five equals three thousand seven hundred and seventy. So there are a lot of tools, and um, there's more here that I encourage all students and faculty and staff to look at and let us know if you need any help. My name is David Brown. My email is dobrown at daltonstate.edu, and I hope you enjoy this. And let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.